Kramer. Get set. Eric, begin. We want to say just a word about the constructors. It's the fabulous Doug Peterson. Doug, Mr. Modest, Mr. What is his uh, nickname? Man About Town? Brian, begin. John, begin. Okay, I didn't screw that up. That's always nice. He <laughs> does been constructing for at least 12 years. He actually started before the word play uh, fell. Because uh, a lot of people started after seeing that film. They got interested in this whole thing and constructing. He makes the puzzles for the celebrity puzzles for Facebook. He's, of course, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. He makes the Southwest Airlines puzzle. For those of you who flew in today. Uh, did anybody fly in today? Okay. <laughs> so, and it's Perhaps we're doing a commentary here today. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and a little info about the, uh, the finalists. Uh, Eric Matty, uh, as has been alluded to, has been here a couple times before. Five finals appearances, including three championships. Uh, this is Berman, John Berman's uh, second final, uh, still in search of his first title. And uh, Brian is uh, making his debut at the Crossroads LA stage, which we're all very excited about. And, uh, right away, I was even impressed with uh, Eric Matty filling in uh, 20 across, the uh, creator of Grey's Anatomy Scandal. That was uh, Totally new to me. I needed uh, needed all the crossings on that, but he appears to have had no problem with it whatsoever. Filling it right in with only uh, one letter. Yeah, and if you uh, good job, Aaron. <laughs> and if you look at the grid itself, you'll notice those beautiful diamonds going straight down, and that is literally by design. Uh, Doug wanted them to not get something big going across and have to actually do it in a nice circular motion so that they would have to. They'd have to get to every part of the puzzle through another part of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. So um, it'll be also be interesting to see uh, who cracks one across first. That's uh, that is the seed of the puzzle, not so much for the the entry, it's for the clue, which is uh, very very devious and uh, a good entry uh, to lead off that puzzle because people won't get it right away and thus won't just spill down from the top left, which is, would be the handiest place to start. You can see uh, Eric has uh, three letters in there, but uh, hasn't latched onto it yet. Yeah. You think he'd crack into that uh, upper left, given that he's got three letters in each of those uh, first set of uh, first set of eights there. You just need one of them, and the rest of it should come crashing down. But he's working on the lower left now. It's a natural intuition, of course, is to start at one across, and so um, Doug made it particularly devious so that they couldn't, and also. Uh, once you get it, because I guess I'm not allowed to say what it is, <laughs> but you'll realize that it also ties in to the final. It's a, a beautiful word. Uh, I mean, it, it's really a beautifully uh, crafted puzzle, and you can see that they both have cat box. I don't know about John in the corner. And, um, uh, John, John's uh, doing a little bit of scattershot starting, got a little bit in the uh, upper right, now he's kind of moving into the center there. A little bit uh, skeletal still, he hasn't really filled in any uh, section solidly. Uh, unlike Eric Matty, who is rolling through that, uh, that lower left there. How's Brian doing? Uh, Brian is, is nice, consistent, going straight down the middle there. All right. Um, so he's got a feel for... Okay, looks like looks like Matty's got the lead right now, but Brian's right there with him. John's still trying to get a foothold. Uh, so, yeah, that, that cat box, like originally Doug um, was putting cat box, and then he realized, oh, cat box, that's like 83 times more fun. <laughs> so that's, that's the key to a Doug Peterson puzzle. If you if you look closely, you see that everything is, is actually not random, and just a, a nice notch above everything else you see, um, with the exception, of course, of the other incredible creators today here. Um, <laughs> Uh, Eric appears to be stalling just a little bit. Eric, Eric is like half through here. Uh, or half not through for you pessimists. <laughs> <laughs> it takes all kinds. Uh, Matty stalled a little bit here. There's 20 across us he's stopping him. He has uh, the first three letters of that, but it hasn't occurred to him. But now he's uh, cracking to the lower right, trying to get into a new area. He doesn't really have anything to go on in this crossing right now, so he's starting, starting again elsewhere. Looks like he's succeeding pretty well there. Spelling 40 down correctly, which is uh, a little tricky, foul-wise. Looks like he'll uh, get this lower left, lower right, and then be able to build up from that into the right center and uh, see if he can roll from there. Although, as I said, as I alluded to earlier, it's always difficult, more difficult to work from the end of words at the beginning. So it'll be kind of 
flows up that right side might be a little more tricky than if you were to start in the upper right and flow down. But who am I to nitpick? He's doing fine. And also, um, Gunn managed to get everything very contemporary. He even has 44 down 2016 presidential hopeful. I mean, the guy's already yeah. out, but <laughs> <laughs> he's probably coming back in. Uh, was that on the issue one too? Yeah. So the, the nice part, there's another perfect example of something he was very thoughtful about. When you make easy clues and hard clues, um, if you have a proper name, usually the only way you can um, define them is the same way like the Saturday Night Live star is um, defined. But he managed, even with his presidential hopeful on the easy puzzle, to have a whole different famous person with the same last name. Uh, that, that's very hard to do. Uh, John's uh, achieving some success in the lower left here. He's got it just about filled in. It's his first really solid block of uh, progress. Uh, Eric Cruz has stalled a little bit. Uh, Brian's also got the lower left, so all our contestants uh, have that working pretty well. Interestingly, uh, Brian has left uh, eight down open for possibility. He's got all of the first letter in there. See, not not, uh, not intimately familiar with uh, Brave New World. He thinks it could be uh, one of uh, two uh, letters there. Um, certainly, one would make more sense to be easier from a construction standpoint. You can't necessarily uh, bank on that, especially given the unusual stuff that often goes on at one cross. So he's probably smart to leave his uh, options open there. Yeah, nobody has one across, although Eric has its match at the bottom. Uh, and John John Berman came in um, second, the first time he ever came here. And he's back on stage. Yeah, this is only the second oh. time he's back up, with six years in between. Uh, Eric has got the uh, upper left cut off now, he's got to finish that off and nothing else in the grid will help him, but it looks like he's about to crack into one across. Oh, and he hasn't time. quite locked on to the meeting yet, he's filled in a couple letters. Okay. Only three letters left, okay. now two, should be any second now. How much time has elapsed? Oh, it's on my, uh, right, come on. Oh, it's on you. And there we go, Eric has one across, the first to crack that tricky clue. Yeah. All right, we got about eight minutes left. I would turn your sheets over and see the two different clues for one across, and you can see why the hard one is really hard. But you see it's a dry, it's a... Uh, there is one corner, one big corner away from victory here, but it has a looted at this point, even though he has built up those long uh, kind of bottom center words, as I alluded to earlier. Now he's, uh, looks like he's trying to get some things without letters, trying to give himself a better foothold there. And does plan paid off? I mean, he's, it's even slowed down Mr. Matty. He has to, he has to do everything, which is fun. Which is better, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You don't want people to rip through your puzzle in two seconds. Uh, John is in an interesting situation. He's got that upper left uh, cut off now. So he's basically got two separate puzzles. He's got to work this right side and then uh, head back up to the upper left. Those uh, those aren't connected by anything remaining to fill in. So that kind of two tasks ahead of him. But there's a rule usually when you're constructing that you have to leave more than one square into the next section so that it's not physically, physically cut off so that there's always more than one way into a corner. Yeah, as long as it, long as it connects overall, it's, uh, it's valid, but usually it's a matter of style. You want it to flow a little bit, unless you're doing a very adventurous theme. Brian, uh, Brian's really making some headway in that upper right where uh, Eric Matty is currently stumped, although he has, uh, he has the last letter of 30 across long, which may trip him up a little bit, so hopefully he can get 14 down and then uh, correct that. Uh, that's going to be an issue. If you, if you don't know, um, in the final, a, a correct solution will always trump an incorrect one, regardless of time. So it's very important to be uh, completely accurate. Who has what one? Uh, Brian has the. Uh, let's just correct it. I can't quite see. Uh, yeah, he's got. He's, for 30, 30 across, he's got the wrong kind of uh, conjugation of. Uh, so he's got that last letter wrong, oh. and uh, now he's filled in that whole corner, which is kind of bad because. For him to correct that area, you have to go back and look at an area he's already completed, and with the heat of uh, time pressure, that's not likely to happen. So well, he'll see when it goes down. Well, he's already got the corner filled in. Is my point. He can't unless he thinks to go back and recheck that. But he's not going to oh, come back oh, there oh, just oh, in the natural flow of solving. So that's going to be a problem. Oh, that's but Eric Matty may be closing in here. I don't see anything wrong with his grid from here. Yeah, because he would know that that's out of the heat if he if he looks down. Usually, you only see bean in a puzzle, and again, Doug put the whole name in there, which is nice. Eric Matty is declared completion. Let's go from here. We'll have to check it over, of course.
but uh, let's see. We got Judge Extraordinary Trip and you're checking over the puzzle. No pressure trip. Championship on the line. It looks good from my vantage point. Yep. That's good. So that's the second place to mine. Brian has much more filled in, but again, he does have that error. So that will be, uh, that's going to be very difficult for him to go back and fix. Unless he has it in his mind and kind of a mental check to go back later. Uh, that looks like it's going to stick there. Which? Yeah, the looks down. Hey, I mean, I don't know what's going on inside his head, but he's not going to come back to that corner in the natural course of solving. So that's going to be that's going to be a problem. You have to think to go back to something he's already completed, and that's just not likely to happen when your mentality is I got to build all over it and be done. And he's looking like he's also having some issues in the lower right. The few squares blank and at least one square wrong there is really messing with. Uh, he'll fix that in time. Now he's working on that upper left, which is the biggest uh, obstacle he has left in terms of just blank space. Uh, John Burns latched onto the tricky one across, just a couple squares left there, but he still has that. Pull slap on the right to attack, and time is going to really start to work against him here. I'm up to four minutes remaining in this challenge. Four minutes. Eric just complimented one across about how beautifully that fit is with the final. So not only is he a champ, he, he noticed. And could be remarkably well. Brian's doing well on, one on uh, that upper left. It looks like he's going to get there, and then he just has to kind of figure out. Uh, what's going on on the right side of the grid. I mean, if he does leave that error here, um, time is very much working against uh, John Burke. He's got a lot to fill in, just about three and a half minutes. He's very calm. He's very calm. Of course he is. Yeah. That's how we do with California. <laughs> Berkeley. Yeah. The first three letters of his name are the first three letters of the city he lives in. Remind me to tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be thrilled. Oh, he moved in El Sobrante. How close is Toronto? Right. He's still looking at that upper left. Okay. Almost there, but again, he's still got that, still got a little bit of a pickle on the right. What will happen? What will happen if he gets that letter wrong, but finishes like four minutes before? Well, like I said, time, time, time is very much not on John Burton's side. He's got a, at least he's got to eclipse uh, that accuracy mark, and with a, as much as he has blank, um, that's going to be a very tricky uh, proposition. Ryan has control finishing off that upper left. He has everything right there, I think. Everything, yeah. That's, that's very true. He thinks uh, one deck, one down, uh, starting with a D there. He thinks the next letter has to be a vowel, D blank L, but it's not. And you may not be familiar with that definition of braces. Oh, there we go. No, right. upper, <laughs> probably never got one down. All right, now the upper left is done. He's moving back to the uh, lower right. A little bit stumped. He's still got that wrong letter in there, which is undoubtedly messing with him. We're down to the last two minutes. Two more minutes. He's very confused. And John, is, this could be this could be interesting if John can generate some momentum. He still has two squares in the upper left, the same one that stumped Brian for a while. Again, assuming that uh, the letter between that D and the L is going to be a vowel is uh, is about is a very tricky thing to overcome if it's in your head, especially if you don't know uh, if you haven't seen brace defined as a pair before. I, I didn't know that answer. It, you hear it a lot in the uh, soccer commentary. The player scores a brace, two goals. Mm -hmm. Boy. Yeah. Not something our team's done in a while. This whole corner is still empty there. That's yeah. a very difficult corner between the foreign name and the half abbreviation. Yeah, time is uh, very much of the essence here. Because we're down in the last 75 seconds oh. of this 15 minute time limit. Oh. Yep, flies by, don't it? I also want to add stoppage time, but <laughs> someone wants to cleat one of these guys and we can add a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, it just, it, John's really stuck. He's going to have to really power through in this last minute in order to to have a shot past Brian. Because as stumped as Brian is, he still has more correct entries filled in. <coughs> He's, he's still looking. He's got that, he's got that R that's wrong. It's, he can't get Nile Blue. He's put an R in there, even though neither one of those entries is complete. He thinks that has to be an R. Well, it's a very, it's a very difficult, if you don't know Italian, to get that right. Yeah. 
This is true. This is true. More along the lines of like Sierra. We got uh, 20 seconds remaining. Just 20 seconds. Yeah, that, that was that was a really hard. It looks like as stumped as Brian is, he's gonna he's gonna land in second here. As uh, John still has a few problems, and especially the upper left, we're down to eight seconds. And I think it's gonna be Brian landing in second, unless John uh, stops time somehow. <laughs> one and that is time. You guys should stop that at some point, huh? Tyler, I think the call's for you. It's coming from inside the phone. <laughs> Goes by, doesn't it? Uh, shall we announce results? Okay, so uh, in uh, third place uh, in Crossroads LA 2015, uh, some blank areas right there, we have uh, John Berman. Second place is just the, the, the wooded, wooden error, error there, and a uh, couple of uh, four wrong, uh, wrong squares down there for just uh, five squares, I think, correct? Good enough for uh, second place, uh, Brian Federa. Uh, and uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. No, well, actually don't, because I could announce it. Uh, our winner, yet again, uh, perfect in, I forgot to note down the time, but uh, he, did, uh, he did pretty well. Uh, our, our winner of Crossroads LA 2015 is Eric Maddie.